Are you ever just so bored? You wake up, you have a day off, and you're just so bored to the point where you're planning next year's Halloween costume. Well, boy, do I have a fix for you. What I like to do is become a tourist in my own city. Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to just show you guys how to become a tourist in your own city. So without further ado, let's begin with the video. But first I wanted to say thank you to Bloom for sponsoring this video. Okay, so my first idea is like going out to eat because I feel like that can be fun to go and explore new areas and find cool little restaurants. And I feel like you go out to eat a lot when you're traveling and stuff, but also you don't just have to go out to eat at restaurants. You can also go and have picnics and I feel like that can be really fun as well. So I'm gonna go for brunch today with one of my friends, but before I do that, I'm just gonna make a little smoothie because I'm a bit hungry right now. So how I do my smoothies is add one banana, raspberries, oat milk, and then I add a scoop of bloom because it's supposed to help with gut health, digestion, clearing skin, and boosting mood. So I add a little scoop of this because it just gives me a little extra greens for the day. Then just blend it up. Yum. All right, so first order of business for the day is going to brunch. Here is the outfit. Gemma, would you like to be in the outfit? The fit chick? Here is Gemma's fit of the day. Nice. So now we are going to go for some brunch. When I was in Toronto, there were some cute restaurants that I went to and I feel like that can be really fun to go and try food, get dressed up, and all that stuff. But what's also fun is going out and having a picnic. So right now I'm gonna go and have a little, little picnic in the park, but I feel like that's a fun way to get out of the house and a fun way, something you would do if you were like, you know, touristing or whatever. So I'm gonna pack a little dinner. I don't want to make anything for dinner though, so I will be having leftovers. I'm packing some blueberries, some peppers, and some chicken. And putting that in my bag alongside my picnic blanket. So, that's what I'm doing right now. This is not very organized. I don't really care. I'm also gonna bring a ginger beer. It's not actual beer. So, now I'm ready to hit the town. The town being, today I'm only going to my backyard because I'm lazy to go to a park. But you should go to a park and have a picnic because that would be fun. But I'm just lazy right now, so I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna pretend I'm doing that. So let's go to a park and have a picnic, but I'm actually gonna be in my backyard. Time for a picnic in the fake park. Chicken. Why did I bring an entire chicken to the park? You could also bring a book and just chill out. I can't seem to figure out how to open this box. I feel like also when you're traveling, when you're away, you walk around a lot. But one way to feel like you're a tourist is to walk around your own city. The trees walk in tea. It's fun. Guys, we know we're, we're in, in Toronto, we're in the six, and we're exploring.
All right, guys. So the next thing that I find fun to do to be a tourist in your own city is going to museums and art galleries. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you might see that I'm that I have a lot of photos in art galleries, and that's because I love going to them. And I feel like I don't know. It's just fun. Like personally, I enjoy looking at art, and like I mean, looking at old things is cool. Museums are cool, and. I don't know, I feel like it's just a really fun little activity. And depending on where you are, sometimes art galleries, museums have free hours. But yeah, I feel like it's just a really fun activity to do, especially when you're bored. Another thing I think would be actually really fun, finding cool little events being put on by your city, by your town, like around the area. I think you have to look for it, but there's like, I feel like there's always something little going on. So in Toronto there's like, I forget what it's called, but there's like a blog and you press a date and it'll show you all of the things going on and they have the same thing for Vancouver. And so you can just kind of look up all of like, these cool things going on, some of them are free, some of them you have to pay for. You know, like there are a lot of cool things out there. In Toronto, we went to this event where it was, at, it was at like a hotel and you could order drinks and stuff, but you were being taught how to crochet. And I was like, this is so cool. And we did have to pay for it, but there are probably other things that are really cool that you can do for free. Currently, we are going to a crochet class. Another thing is going to like a beach or a field or whatever and watching the sunset because I feel like when you watch the sunset you always feel like you're on some sort of vacation just like sitting out there looking at the sunset and just chilling vibing and having a good time I feel like that is you can't go wrong with that time to watch the sunset gorgeous here. come to this park like relatively often because it's somewhat close to my house but the sunsets here are really pretty because like the sun actually sets like over there so it's really nice. So that was the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope it maybe gave you some ideas on how to kind of explore your own city and have a little fun where you are. But yeah, that's kind of all I have to show you guys for today. But I just think like if you have a day off, you're feeling bored, I think it's really fun to go explore your own city. Mm -hmm.